Hi guys, today I'm going to talk about the lesson by using Spanish pot. I think that this technique is amazing to learn Spanish and I will provide uh, a lesson about how to say excuse me in Spanish. Remember, at the last uh, lesson, we uh, learned how to uh, how to say in Spanish thanks thanks for your help and today we are going to learn how to say excuse me in the title in Spanish so let's start the title one I'm going to read the formal Spanish ay perdón señora oiga cuidado perdóname estoy distraído ¿Y por qué está distraído ¿Por qué no puedo encontrar los mariscos? ¿Usted sabe dónde están? Sí, están por allá. Ah, claro. Disculpe, la molestia. En In English, formal English. Ah, perdón, man. Hi. Watch out. Perdón, man. I'm distracted. And were you, or why were you distracted? Uh, because I cannot find the shellfish. Do you know where they are? Yes, they are over there. Ah, of course. Excuse me, water. So, and this time, uh, we are going to read uh, in Spanish first, and after read Spanish, um, we are going to translate some sentence that are written in Spanish or English. Let's start again. Ay, perdón, señora. Ah, perdón, man. Oiga, cuidado. Hi, watch out. Perdóname, estoy distraído. Perdón, man. I am distracted. Ay, ¿por qué está distraído? And why are you distracted? ¿Por qué no puedo encontrar los mariscos? ¿Ustedes saben dónde están? Because I cannot find the shellfish. Do you know where they are? Si, sí, están por allá. Yes, they are over there. Ah, claro. Disculpe la molestia. Of course, excuse me the border. Informal Spanish. Ay, perdón, amiga. Oye, cuidado. Perdóname. Estoy distraído. ¿Por qué estás distraído? ¿Por qué no puede encontrar los mariscos? ¿Tú sabes dónde están? Sí, están por allá. Ah, claro. Disculpa la molestia. English. Formal English. Ah, perdón, my friend. Hi, watch out. Perdón, me. I'm distracted. Where are you distracted? Because I cannot find the shellfish. Do I know where they are? Yeah, they're over there. Of course, excuse me, the border. Vocabulary. Pardon. Pardon. Cuidado. Care. Carefulness. Watch out. Look out. Encontrar. To find. Disculpar. To forgive. To excuse. Distraído, distraída, distracted, absent minded, molestia, bother, trouble. Again, perdón, perdón, cuidado, care, watch out, encontrar, to find, disculpar, disculpar, to forgive, to excuse, distraído, distraída, molestia, bother, trouble. Simple sentence. Perdón, señora. Cuidado. Encontrado en la playa. Disculpamos. El profesor no va a venir. Estamos. Estamos distraídos. No es una molestia. Perdón, sir. Watch out. They they find the, the beach. We forgive the professor for not coming. We're absent and minded. It is not Potter. Grammar points. Asking for forgiveness or apologizing in Spanish 
can take form in several ways. The phrase compromiso literally with permission is a request on behalf of the speaker for forgiveness or understanding of the person being spoken to. We often translate this as excuse me, a little more eloquent is con su permiso, which is translated. If you excuse me, two other expressions often used are perdone and the stupid, both of which acknowledge that a social normal has been broken, broken and that the speaker wishes to express his or her or awareness of this. Both of these expressions are usually translated as forgive me or pardon me. Also both of these form have been given in the formal version. However, if you are in the company of friends you can use the more formal perdona me or disculpa me. It simply adds not a of intimacy. Lastly, uh, the phrase lo siento can be used as well. This literally means I feel it or I feel for you, and it is usually translated as I'm sorry. Out of our expressions here discussed, this is the le least used and links itself to, to protocol. One says lo siento to show someone that they have good manners, but ironically, not to really express their feelings. Culture inside. A curious peculiarity in Latin American can be observed in asking someone for directions. It's more often than not the case that the person asking will in fact give directions to a place, whether he or she know how to get there or not. This can be seen as kind of over willingness to help someone else. It occurs very frequently in hero areas where distances are not measured in miles or kilometers, but rather by geographical landmarks. In Peru, for example, the phrase Aya no mas, just over there, is used to describe a platform of distance, locations, and general whereabouts. In Dominican Republic, many of the landmarks each your reference do not even exist anymore, but it because everyone knows where it is of that to use it to to be the still say following this road until you reach the big tree and then turn left. How confusing would, would this be given that there is no tree? It was a lesson by using a dialogue and the method that called Spanish pop. Lesson four. Thanks a lot. See you next class. See you next uh, video by helping my friends to get some knowledge as me in Spanish. Thanks a lot.